All right, so if you guys watched the previous video, I said I was gonna make a different change. Um, I couldn't find a 30 gallon, <clears throat> so I'm just gonna use this 20 gallon for the meantime. I was gonna put this um, <clears throat> 40 gallon, take that bottom uh, bar down there, take this 40 gallon, found it 40 gallon, and put it on top here. Uh, I think those bars down there, they could hold on to at least 400 some pounds, if I'm not wrong, maybe three. But I, wa I wanted to put that, this tank, 40 gallon, on top of here. I'm not sure if this is sturdy enough, but I, I'm gonna trust it because I've tried it with 35 gallons before and it worked. So just five more gallons. I know that's a lot of pounds already, um, but I'm gonna transfer I already transferred most of these plants in here already. Um, as you guys know, this is um, the pond for my kois. I have two shibukin kois and uh, some uh, feeder goldfish and some rose, uh, some pink rose minnows. Um, and this is how I'm gonna acclimate them in there. So gonna put these I know this space is tight uh, I'm just gonna acclimate them until they reach the same temperature because um, these are all the same water these are all the same water I've put a 120 um, oh no not 120 150 temperature here um, heater 150 watts my bad in here so it could uh, warm up in here fast and uh, these guys could acclimate correctly to the water um, but I'm gonna have them in here for for a while I've had the betas in here I've had a couple of different fishes in here I've had tetras in here before guppies and uh, they did really well so um, I post these guys up for sale but I decided I'm just gonna keep this tank and these guys leave them in here um, and if they survive, even better. Um, this is a really good pond for breeding as well. I had a really successful three to four batch of uh, guppies in here as well. Um, my betas bred in here as well, but uh, I didn't really take care of the betas and they ate the babies, so really good. Hopefully they acclimate well. And uh, let me get this situated, clean this up, take out the substrate and then uh, take out the rocks. I'm just gonna do this bare bottom. Pretty soon, I'll go get a red background, and uh, yeah, it'll be it'll, it'll be another flowering tank. It's twenty long gallon. I never wanted to do a twenty long gallon tank for a flower horn, but uh, it might be exceptional for now, temporary. All right, I got the siphon right here. okay if I get the substrate because I'm just taking all the water out. I'll put new water in here I'll let it run cycle for maybe a couple of days before I put a new flower in who knows um, if anything I'll scoop up some of these water because I'm planning to do a water change might scoop up some of these water put it in here turn the temperature up and um, it'll be good uh, yeah I plan on having these two in here having their own tanks. So, um, and fish house might go in, in here. That little dude might go in here. Who knows? Um, I'll figure something out later. But yeah, but yeah. let me get this done, uh, clean up and get this situated. I'll show you guys the results. All right, well, I set it up. I did a water change. Technically not a water change because I didn't do any scrubbing, any, I took out water only, and that's about it. Took out about 15 right here, took out about 15 right here, maybe 10. And then this right here, I took out uh, like 10 right here too. And that is the one that I took out 25%. I dumped it in there and there was about like 30% left in there, maybe, maybe 25, not sure, but <clears throat> I filled, filled up the rest with the hose and then um, it was good. Temperature felt right. 
it was it's a little warmer in there but i just scooped up in fish house put it in put him in here as well um and he seems to be doing really good in here so uh, i'm glad that went through nicely i did a little bit of scrubbing you as you can see there's some algae here um, along the walls at the bottom i didn't want to take away too much algae because uh i know that algae is really important for these fish or just fish in general and uh, these guys in here let's see how they're doing swimming fine you see my koi's there's that beta I don't know how the other guys are doing the tetra the barbs there's the barbs there's Daniel right there swimming right there temperature is going up feels good yeah they're doing really good and if I do find any dead fish they'll be up here floating so I hope this pH I'm not sure if these this pH is the same as the one that I had in tank here. <clears throat> uh, I didn't do any testing, but as far as I know, barbs, goldfish, tetras, they could they could stay together. But I tried, I did try putting um, other fish there, uh, what other fish into the flat horn um, water, and they did die because after a couple days. Um, it was too crazy the water was too too much for them so yep uh after this video i'm gonna run the filter the hang on the back filter uh for over the night maybe two hours here i can't do it on this one because acrylic there's this big gap right here but i could run it on here i could run it on here so it would just siphon up all the poop and whatnot in there and uh yeah that's it I specifically wanted him and then fish house to have their own tank. Uh, ideally, I do want these two guys to have their own tank too, but um, it's okay. He's recovering and uh, SRM is still getting there. So we'll see how he does because he hasn't blown up yet. So you guys know SRM takes forever. And this guy got his own tank. <laughs> And these two small dude has their own big space so i'm happy i'm happy if i have any more fish coming in or i do decide to make more room i'll just make another room over there but as of now everything looks good oh yeah i brought this tub back if you guys don't remember i had this tub right here i have the amazonia substrate i just used it as dirt um i don't know i just threw this log in here but i used it as uh dirt in here Hopefully it goes well, and I just threw my wife's uh, circulant plants in here. So let's see how it does. I've never tried this before. Not a planter, not a gardener of anything. I'll just throw in some sand or go buy some correct dirt for it. Yep, that's it. Got my new setup. Not new, but just rearranged it, so. Everything looks good. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Patio tanks.